Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you some online school tips because I've been online schooled from 2020, I mean obviously with COVID, but after 2020 and in 2021 and this year 2022, um, I've been schooling independently and being homeschooled, which means I'm working with a Cambridge syllabus and so recording okay i've been working with the cambridge syllabus and been finding my own tutors from all different corners of the internet so i have a quite a bit ex of experience with this and trust me i know it is really hard to keep up with and even just get good grades with online school but hopefully these tips will help you out all right so first up this one is like pretty obvious but organization is key not only with online school but even regular school you have to be organized otherwise you are going to fail i promise you so what i do is i have my timetable on the calendar app of my phone and i have all my classes filled in with the links to the zoom lessons and i set it to ring about five minutes before the class starts so five minutes before i get the alert and i know what class is next and what's happening number two Set reminders. Trust me, you are not going to remember all your assignments. Use an app. Um, you can use an app. You can use a planner. Whatever works best for you. I use an app. I just use Apple's reminders. It works fine. Put in all your assignments. Don't let anything be down to memory. Make sure you write it down. Make sure you set the reminder. Make sure you set a time for it to go off so that you know you're getting all your work done. All right, so just like regular school, please, for God's sake, wake up at a normal time. I did that thing last year where I'd wake up five minutes before my class started. And trust me, it never worked out. I was always tired during the class, not even listening and retaining information. Sometimes I'd end up sleeping through my classes. So, you know, not good. So set a regular wake up time. Some people like to do it like a regular set time every day. But personally, I set my alarm to one hour and 30 minutes before my first class. So sometimes my first class is at like 10, sometimes it's at like eight. So if I need to sleep more, I use that 30 minutes to sleep. And then the one hour is spent waking myself up, taking a shower, going on my phone, uh, putting stuff together for the class, stuff like that. All right, so like I said, you should have a wake up time. You should also have a work cutoff time. You should have a lunch break time. You should have a regular break time. Just add as much structure as possible to your day because usually when working from home or schooling from home, um, the usual structure that you have is completely gone and it's hard to know when you should be doing work, when you should be taking a break and usually that all gets mungled, jumbled into a big bowl of procrastination. So have structure, have a daily plan and stick to it no matter what. All right, so when you go to school or work, your brain knows it's time to work. But when schooling or working from home, I'm going to assume your brain thinks it's time to relax uh, and, I don't know, watch Danger Force, okay? But you need to create a space in your house. So it could be like a desk, it could be a room, whatever it is. Just a space that when you go there, you study and when you are there, you will be studying. So you train your brain to know that, hey, when I'm sitting at this desk, I'm supposed to be working, not procrastinating. It'll help a lot with being able to focus and being able to actually stay on track with your work. Make it someplace that you want to be, even if you don't want to study. So put up pictures of your favorite celebrities, uh, buy cute little accessories, whatever it is. Just make sure it's somewhere that you want to be because Nobody really wants to do work, but it's got to happen, so might as well enjoy the space where you're doing it at. Alright, so this one I'm pretty sure you've heard on every study hack video on the planet, but set goals. Don't just study because it's the law. Study because you want to achieve something. Study, maybe your goal for this year would be you want to achieve a certain grade for all your subjects, or you want to get a better grade for one of the subjects that you're currently doing. But don't just passively study to pass the exams. Passively, not passively study. Study to achieve something. That's the only way you're going to stay motivated and actually do your work. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you did, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And I really do hope these tips help you out because school on its own is hard for everyone. But, you know, we got to do it. So, <laughs> I hope you guys get grades this year and I will see you next time. Bye!